Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Toast versus Ravage163, and this is going to be a post Dune replay. Also, before we hop in, I might be hosting a tournament called the Worlds 2023 Format Tournament, where it's literally just Worlds format. Um, I might host it this weekend. I've, I've just been like kind of writing up something, but comment down below if you'd be interested in that, because I think it's actually really important for like america to like you know help its players get testing and see the format and everyone experience it also there's gonna be prizing and stuff too uh because like china's already been like hosting infinite tournaments for their players so you know i you know maybe, maybe we gotta get our players up some but they're gonna go ahead we're gonna see ravage go ahead and decide to go first 40 versus 40 gotta love to see it opening hands we have pressured planet scream tuning solik agito they have thrust droll sarama ash and prosperity so they are deciding to play thrust in unchained which is not horrible because this can set like any of the unchains and then you can pop them right away but if you don't get hand trapped then like you know it's just a completely dead card in your mid-range deck uh, prosperity go ahead banish six and then we do see this which we have to grab there because you know we need the two engine cards to be able to play and then put the rest back to the bottom of the deck yeah and then we can normal summon out the sarama and then activate the hand effects special summon pop that and then sarama effects special summon from deck that's gonna bring out shavra Okay, I'll see what their line is to see if it's correct because I was thinking of going for the blue one there But okay, so we're gonna bring out Yama Yama 1 Sarva 2 and then that's gonna let us go ahead set the escape and then we're gonna search out Sharva, which we could have also added back from graveyard because now we're gonna use Sharva effect pop the trap card special summon out and then we will get escape effect to go special Okay, so escape, go summon out Shayama, and then we're going to link into Soul of Rage, Shayama effect to pop Soul of Rage, new chain link, we're going to get Soul of Rage and Yama effect, so Yama's going to banish, special summon back out, and then Soul of Rage is going to add the Shavara, and then we're going to summon out the Sarama, Sarama effect, reset, escape, Pop Shayama, Shayama effect, pop special. Uh, we already used that effect. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I, I don't really know what we're doing here. It kind of just seems like we're playing cards just to play them. Um, it probably was correct to summon water off the first trap. I'm not the greatest with this deck yet, so I'm not 100% sure, but probably correct to do that because that's once per turn and it was already used yep they catch it um they pass they draw crime also they're assigned to play crime not super normal at least in the main deck tuning chain ash okay i feel like you would just draw seems like kind of a weird ash uh pressured planet go grab tier limit cash tira and then drop droll activate scream tier limit cash tira summoned by banishing solik doesn't get rid of crime and then go ahead mill. I guess crime just credit Guido is kind of nice. Uh, they mill Havnus, Rhino, Tier Limit, Cash Tira, Scream, King of the Swamp. They can't scream because Droll, but they can still Havnus and Tier Limit, Cash Tira. And they can also Rhino. Yeah, I don't even think. Yeah, I think Rhino will probably get used there too. Actually, because you're going to put that back. Rhino summon. And what does Rhino even bring out? Yeah, Rhino actually just doesn't do anything. So you probably just don't use it. But they're going to go ahead, put back now with the Havnus, and then bring out Kaleido. They milled Solik plus Heartbeat, so Heartbeat is insane there to mill, because that lets them go ahead and try to add back. So they're going to go Heartbeat 1, Kaleido 2, try to spin back, escape, and they're going to chain the Shavara to pop escape. Grab Solik, new chain link, effective escape to summon out water from the deck. Um, so what this one does, it's a quick effect pop. So that won't actually set up an interruption though. Like right away. We don't have the uh we don't have Yama engrave or anything. So they're gonna go Kaleido, beat over water. Oh, uh, that should go to the bottom of the deck. Yup. And then Tier Limit Cash Tira, beat over, and then they also scream. 
and then they get to set directly from deck. So they're going to go ahead and set the Chamber, set Crime, set Solik, pass, and then they draw a Rakia. So go main phase, activate the Chamber, summon out the Sarama, and then activate Scream Effect there, mill Rhino, Tirlamek, Hashtira, King of the Swamps. So we're going to mill two more. Uh, we decide to not activate our Kaleido Effect. Uh, and then we mill Revolution and Tuning there. Revolution, decent to have engrave. Um, only will come up once we have synchros, which doesn't really seem like it's, does not seem like it's going to happen anytime soon. But if it does happen, then we have glow bulb in our grave. So they're going to go activate to try to set from the grave and then destroy one card we control or like they control, and then chain Solik to negate, chain Water to pop, and then in response chain Crime. So new chain link, we're going to get Kaleido. Agito. Um, why is Solik in grave? I'm not sure why the Solik got put in grave. Then we're gonna bring out Kaleido. Oh, uh, we get the dump. They mill the Abominable Unchained Soul. And then they're gonna dump Meta Noise. It's kind of hard to tell like what tier is doing when they're playing in VC. Because now they're going to get the effect, make Rukalos, Meta Noise added back, Shaylin. Uh, then Kaleido's going to spin back their monster, activate Thrust now. So, uh, they haven't gone through like Talents or anything. But, yep, go ahead, search out Talents. Okay, activate Talents, take Rukalos, Normal Summon, Battle Phase, Attack attack which is just a crash yeah it's kind of funny how many waters there are on field only two different attributes there and then attack into that so we're gonna take damage but then we get the special summon from deck and then that can bring out the soul of disaster and then effect to go ahead and link and then bring out soul of rage okay um trying to think if there was a better play there because we could have gone for yama because these are both fiends. So we could have gone for Yama. And then Yama effect goes search. But I, yeah that doesn't really get us anything though. Because we've already used our normal. Uh, okay. 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 So we're just going to set this up. We know that they have Shaylin in hand. They're going to go Trivi Karma. Go search out Tier Planet. Draw King of the Swamp. Activate Tier Planet. Go search out Rhino Heart. Okay. Normal Summon Rhino. Uh, Rhino 1. Scream 2. So we'll Kelbeck, Murley, Go Dump, Havnus, New Chain Link. We're gonna go Tiered Chain Link One, Kelbeck Chain Link Two, and then put back. Go ahead, summon out Dragos to Paleo, and then okay, okay. So we activate both tier names, and then we're gonna bring out Dangerous. So now our opponent's only interruption can get hit with Dragos to Paleo, and then we win. But now we're gonna go ahead. Uh, did we? Planet Pop Rhino? I think we did. Yeah, that's why I'd be in grief. Okay, and then they're going to activate their Shavara effect, the set chamber. So we're going to pop Rhino. Rhino bring itself out. Discard Shaylin. And then Shaylin 1, Dangerous 2. Dump Mally. And now we can put back Shaylin, King of the Swamp, to bring out the Rukalos. Banish Mally. Bring out Mally. That's Beatrice set up. Overlay into it. All right. Then, yeah, battle phase, and they admit defeat. So, moving on to game two now, we're going to get to see Unchained go first. We got Solik, Foolish Burial Goods, King of the Swamp, Foolish Burial Goods, and Druus Worm. They have Abominable, Unchained Soul, Shavara, uh, Chamber, Ash, and then Rakia. So, it does kind of suck when you draw four engine cards in that deck. Uh, especially one being like this. This isn't like the greatest card to draw. Just because you're still going to need a discard later, but you can always add back engine. Normal, effect, pop, effect, go special from deck, okay. Then that's going to bring out the Shavara. Okay, I'm just going to let him cook. They're going to make Yama, Yama 1, Shavara 2, set, escape, go search out Aura. Okay, Aura effect. Pop the trap, special summon, escape effect, go summon out Sarama, and then we're going to go Sarama, reset the escape, pop the fire, fire effect, go summon out Shayama from the deck, and then link those off in the Soul of Rage. Okay, 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 I'm liking this a lot more than what they were doing last time. 
It started off a little bit weird, but it makes sense so far, yeah. Then we get the special summon out from deck. Could get... No, 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 no point of using Yama. Wait, they're going to Druid Swarm here? Ah, oh, yeah, that's tough. I was going to say, otherwise we could, like... Shayama, Pop Soul of Rage, Yama, bring it back, and then we get to add one back, which is our discard for the Abominable Unchained Soul, most likely. Or we could just discard this, because this is good. But I guess we can add another one. That's true. But okay, they drew us from that, and then go for DDD, Wave High King Caesar, Pass, they draw Trivi Karma, Foolish Burial Goods, Dump Scream, Scream, Grab Crime, Normal Summon King of the Swamp. And then link those off in the Dark Charmer, Jurus Worm, out the DDD, Shavara, set the Chamber. And then Solar Rage in response to the Dark Effect. That's going to let them go for Anguish. And then set three pass. They draw Talents. I mean, yeah, all these cards are just dead. Activate Chamber to summon back from Hander Graveyard. And then Toast admits defeat. So moving on to game three now. Tier will go first. We got Heartbeat. Kelbeck, Scream, Tuning, Scream. Okay, we have to have a... Oh, wait, 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 wait. So... Hmm. Okay. I guess we can... I guess we always just start with Tuning here, right? And see what we hit. They have Escape, Sarama, Prosperity, Shavara, Prosperity. I also don't know what their, like, package is for the Revolution Synchron... They're going to grab Revolution, Synchron, Mills, Mally. Oh, see what I'm saying? You always got to wait for the Mills because, like, it just gets dirty sometimes. But Normal Summon out Kelbeck. Okay. And then we're going to put uh, the Revolution and the Kelbeck in the graveyard. Make Ancient Fairy, Revolution, Mills, Foolish Burial Goods to Summon. Makes Crystal Wing. Okay. Hey, yeah, that was rough. I was kind of expecting them to go for the new Visas monster. You can, you can, you can definitely make that, right? I thought it just took like one, and not even a non-tune. I'm pretty sure it took like a light monster plus another monster, so you can make the Visas there, and then Visas effect grab Planet, and then Planet grab Tier Limit Cash Tira, Tier Limit Cash Tira, Mill Six. You have Mali. That to play right we could have at least heartbeated our own monster or our, our like our own scream and then discard kelbeck and kelbeck effect it seems really bad but maybe that's also something we could have thought about pass they draw draw and then they're gonna set escape activate shavara on it and then we're gonna chain heartbeat to out that scream effect go search solik heartbeat do be pretty good against this deck though uh, now they're going to go Pot of Prosperity for 6. It's Dark Ruler there, but just going to grab the Aura. So Abomination's Prison is so cool just because it's Roto, but it also has another effect. Just like a deck having like a straight up Roto is cool. Not Field Spell Roto either. Normal Summon Sarama. Activate the Hand Effect. Pop it. Special Summon. Sarama Effect. Crystal Wing Negate. Battle phase, crash into this, that way they can go ahead and summon out the disaster from the deck. Yep, bring out Soul of Disaster, main phase 2 effect, I don't know why they keep summoning this on attack. Um, but then they're going to go for Soul of Rage. Oh, actually I didn't even realize I had that effect, gains 300 attack for each unchained card in your graveyard. That is pretty decent, you can, you can make this pretty beefy. But make Soul of Rage pass, they draw Trivi Karma. Yeah, that's not going to help you here. It's not going to help you here. Uh, set 2 pass. And they're not going to be popping your back around anyways. Because like, they think it's Solik. They don't want to give you Solik. So now they're going to go Prosperity for 3. Um, which they actually didn't have to do here. They could have maybe played for Shivara. Pop, Effect, Add back Sarama. Sarama, Set, Pop, Effect, Special... But now we're going to be doing half damage. We're going to grab the chamber there and then put back to the bottom. And then set chamber, Shavara effect, pop. And then chamber effect, special summon out from the deck. Yeah, 
So it's going to go ahead and bring out the Sarama, Sarama effect. So set the fire, pop the fire, fire effect, go bring out the Rekio from deck, and then battle phase. This is all half damage, so this is really not a lot at all. Is going to drop them down to 4,600. And then make Yama, activate Yama effect 1, Shavara 2, so set escape from the deck. And then go search out Rakia. And then pass turn, they draw King of the Swamp. And that is not a very good draw. Yeah, they're just showing him everything. Said I could not win that. It is not possible. But seeing how long the match was, the match was about 42 minutes long, and we do see Unchained end up winning there. Uh, yeah, I thought you could make the Visa Synchro there. I'm going to have to look at that after this. But maybe they also just don't play it because they want to play Crystal Wing. Uh, you probably just have to choose between one or the other, I feel like, with how like tight the tier extra deck is. There's just a lot of things that you could play in it. But also, again, let me know if y'all are interested in this world format tourney. I would probably hit up like a sponsor or two, try to get some prizing for it. Maybe I'll just throw money into it. But I think this is something that we should do. Make the world's competitors more prepared for worlds. And yeah, this would be on July 22nd, Saturday from noon until roughly 7 p.m. Probably run more towards like 8 um but yeah if y'all have any suggestions about this or anything go ahead and comment them down below if you're interested in this comment it down below just let me know anything about how you feel about this potential tourney coming up i haven't hosted a tourney in a while but you know for a cause like this i would 100 percent be down to do it and it would be like free entry and there would be prizing so like you know you it would it would have no downside to it if you end up playing in a, uh, and with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.